everybody wants a Labrador Retriever until they realize that their cute little seal pup will turn into a strong, demanding, and challenging bulldozer. This is Benji, and he is three years old. Good boy. Good boy. We're going to give you lots of treats because we're told that you like treats. Okay, are we going to sing the song of our people this whole time? Good boy. You're very greasy. Greasy mess. Clearly, Benji forgot that he was bred to be a water-retrieving dog. In order to protect my hearing and my sanity, I had to put on ear protection. People get Labradors because they are generally very friendly with people, young children, and other animals. But the part that most people don't understand is that they are usually very high-strung, require a lot of training and physical stimulation. You are a little bit dramatic. Just a little bit. You're a big sucky baby. Scared of life. Okay. Be good boy. They are also obsessed with food and prone to obesity. Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. I gotta wipe your face because you wouldn't let me wash it because you're a big suck. Okay, relax. Relax. Oh, are they infected? Oh, they are infected. Really? Yeah, this one is anyways. It's nasty. For your own good. Gosh, my head is freaking thick. Now, groomers don't hate any dogs, or they wouldn't be working with dogs if they did. However, labs are high on the list of breeds that we don't like working with. A well-bred and well-trained lab is a joy, but the majority of labs we encounter are poorly bred, extremely overweight, and poorly trained. They are fairly large muscular dogs, and trying to control them can be exhausting. Benji is actually properly bred, meaning he is not gigantic like a lot of the backyard bred labs we regularly see. He is certainly scared of this process and requires a lot more training if his owners want to continue getting him professionally groomed. Okay, it's over. Calm down. Calm down. I didn't fully dry him because he was very scared. Brushing a dog should be done on a dry coat, but it can still be done on a damp coat. Out of everything, there is one PSA I would like all dog owners to know, especially owners of large breed dogs. Good boy. I know they're short. Good boy. One of the first things you should teach your dog in puppyhood is not to jump on people. If a dog believes it's acceptable to jump, there is a major safety concern for the vulnerable population, such as children and the injured or elderly. A correction should be used every single time your dog tries to jump on someone, and this training should begin on the day that you bring them home. You survived. We should get bandanas that say, I survived, growing with the dogs. It's a good idea. <laughs> it's a good idea or I survived the air tube of death. Now, while it may have sounded like I was harping on Benji or his owners, I promise that that is not the case. I like to use my channel not only for comedy and adorable pets, but also to educate the public on different breeds and responsible pet ownership. Benji is a very sweet dog, and he was just scared. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the boisterous Benji.